Hello, hello. We are live. We are live right now. Well, that's definitely like one of the, the best things just to start. And usually I do start live streams on Fridays, but yesterday I didn't really do the live stream because I forgot because behind the scenes wasn't really that good at the minute but now I'm feeling a little bit better than I was I think this is a perfect opportunity just to come on and have a little catch up on Britannic for Britannic month and yeah just to see how we're getting on I'm alerting everyone on discord that's a live stream starting I think I did the best I could hello blue hello Jess how are you guys doing and I think while I'm on there, I think I shall do a little sneak peek. I, I think, unless DK is on. <laughs> Wait, excuse me, my asthma's gone a bit bad recently. But I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it, and I've got a few updates. I went to the doctor early this week. And then we'll just probably see how we go from there, I suppose. But... Yeah, but the, the, everything has just been all over the place. But I, I definitely think this live stream hopefully will be good and positive. Oh, Jess and Blue say good. Oh, that's good, you guys. I'm so pleased. But um, yeah, anyway, oh, I just realized something. Hang on a minute. Um, because I believe in one live stream that was supposed to happen, um, it never did. And there was questions we never got around to. So hang on a second. Um, so there we go. So we're going up. Sometimes when you scroll scroll through all old messages up on there, it, it's just like one of those things that you try to find stuff, but it's definitely not there. But I think this is one of those times, really. <laughs> but never mind. And but if not, then we shall find and see our own way if we can actually do things like that but yeah ah I can't really find it anyway let, let, let's just jump in and then we'll just get started and we might have a bit of a mini quiz we might not but I really don't know um Jess says I really love the Britannic video which Britannic video do you mean Jess is it um the Thursday's one or the recent one and Jess also says I don't know when the Titanic phase the Aquitania was I went damaged by the storm. Oh, you you don't know information about the storm. Okay. Um, I think I, I did a what if video on that, but um I didn't know that either. Oh, okay, this is different. I'm just trying some licorice tea to help with my asthma, but it's a very strange taste. This is the first time I tried it. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, oh, Jess says the last one. Oh, thanks, Jess. Thank you. That's the one with um DK and Jake, right? But yeah, yeah, you said, yeah, that's it. That, that's what you mean. Thanks, Jess. Thank you so much. And that reminds me as well. Um, we did the petition, it's gone a little bit slow recently, but um, we're gonna do our best just to see. I've done a video and I've written a script for um the petition video and i haven't recorded it yet but it is on my to-do list but in the meantime if you can please please share and sign the petition to anyone friends family and it will make a lot of difference and i will leave it in the description box down below afterwards but if you want to check it out because we need to definitely get more signatures captain alex hello hello there i need your help on writing a book between raise the bismarck uh right uh raise the carl d bradley and rise the Emma fitzgerald any ideas Ooh, i i'm not really too sure alex i'm not the best person to ask but I might try and see if there was a person who could. But I, I definitely think the best way to do that, Alex, is to join my Discord group because um, there are the best um, people out there who know no bits than I do. In fact, I'll put the whole Discord link in the in the chat as well. So um, if you if you have any questions or if you want to meet new people, new friends. I would suggest like heading over to the Discord group because we are such a wonderful community here and it's really wonderful 
and you should definitely check it out because it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we, we definitely have a lot of good people there, definitely. And um, <clears throat> it's always nice to be part of the community. Um, the Bismarck who replaced the Britannic. Yeah, I don't know the story about the Bismarck. Was she a, like a white star liner to begin with? <coughs> have the white sunlight i don't know i just don't know sorry my pillows are fluffing around a little bit but there we go hopefully i won't make anyone too dizzy with that <laughs> Plo! <coughs> excuse me Plo, how are you doing are you doing good that's um yeah i've been i've been so coffee but i think um with all the winter stuff going uh winter going on it's just like one of those things and I haven't got my winter clothes down yet which I need to get on to but unfortunately uh, I didn't really get into there um Captain Alex says uh before I forget I got 230 oh congratulations Captain Alex what a massive achievement oh I'm so proud of you well done oh what and speaking and that's all that's that what's everyone's achievement that they've done this week so please please chat I would love to read them and uh, talk about them so always pick what's the best achievement that you've had all week jake hey jake how are you the white star line purchased the bismarck or with the compensation money they got for the loss of oh okay got you now i understand mm, me thinks maybe another video hmm that might be a possibility uh jess says i uh, was a german ship it was given a white star line after the war was renamed oh was she the one that was renamed majestic okay okay now i get you now i understand sometimes th some of these histories either escape me or i can't remember because me, me nearly being a 30 year old my my brain is kind of over the place it's like a ding dong sort of place <laughs> so I'm not as young as I used to be but I definitely love to actually know about what's going on and, and I always look for new history facts even if I forget about them or they're brand brand new ones I, I definitely really love to love to know about them um jake did the home racket replace titanic oh i wonder jake's answers to that uh jake says and i know much uh, money white star line received for the britannic's loss oh okay <coughs> well i have to definitely do that because i know with the titanic video that i did earlier this year excuse me they they really did like lose a lot of money because of the court cases and all that with the titanic disaster i still can't believe how much money that they've lost oof um blue says rms majestic it is also known as the great white star <gasps> really i did not know that blue that's a really interesting fact thank you so much for sharing this oh honestly you guys you guys have been a really the best of sharing all these things so that's all good all well and good um olympic homoerotic and majestic i definitely need to do a video on all three of them at some point i know i'm planning to do a video on the launches of olympic titanic and britannic but um i, I definitely really think it, it'd be a good idea just to do another video on the olympic homoerotic and majestic the, sh the white starships of the 1920s how about that? Do you think that might be a good idea? Would anyone like to see that? Oh, that's that. oh, Chloe's actually sneaked in a little comment. Uh, it says, from good old uh, Bolham and Voss and from the Imperial to a class. Oh, is that the German lines there, Chloe? Okay. Okay. I, I definitely think it's this one. Jess says, yes. Okay, Jess, I think it's going to be down for next year in the diary. <laughs> but no, definitely we've got to do that anyway shall we get on to the main event today i'm not sure how long i'm going to stay up um up on the live stream for because it depends on my asthmatic cough because <coughs> it's been really bad for this week and uh, like i said i had to go to hospital for it so i really don't don't know what's going to happen but i will do my best to stay as long as i can can't guarantee it but i will give it a try but yeah, so I'll just see how I go. Oh, Jess actually sneaked in another comment. I don't understand why people hate the gantry davits. I really love them. Makes the ships were different. Why do people hate the gantry davits? Why is that? 
Well, I'm actually quite curious. I never heard anyone saying that they don't like the Gandry Davids. Okay, that's really interesting. That is really interesting. Um, uh, Captain Alex says, I can't believe the Titan sub joined the Titanic at the bottom of the Antic. Oh, you know what? It, it's definitely been months ago, really. But yeah, and it's, it's been a bit crazy, really, with the Titan sub. I mean, I could talk like about it, really. But because there are people I know who knew one of the members who were in that sub, I don't really want to disrespect or upset them. So I, I, I try not to talk about it because it can upset people. And I know on this channel, I never want to upset people because I know how much it will hurt by raising sensitive subjects like that. But yeah, I, I definitely... I, I just think we've got to try and stay away from the subject, I think. But who knows? But, yeah, I think it's for the best it's to stay away from that at the moment. DK, how's my bestie? You good? Uh, Jake says, because they look out of for... Uh, ah, sorry, that's how I get. Because they uh, look out of place for the ship that was designed as a passenger liner. Okay, okay. I think I must have missed something there, Jake, but... I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> oh, so how, so how was your mum's car, DK? Okay. Was it all? It was all squeaky clean. Well, I, I just missed your comment there. It says, did you know that the Bengaria was a replacement for Lusitania? No, I did not know about this. Blue, where did you find about it? I am so curious to find out. Uh, just playing with Cubby at my Oh, you play with sweet little kitty Cubby. Oh, DK. I might just give a say hello to him. Hi, Cubby. Meow, meow. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, Cubby is one of um, DK's cats who was he was featured in the thumbnail for the black cats video so if you want to know what cubby looks like <coughs> that's that he's in the thumbnail of the black cats video because that's why i picked him because he's so sweet <laughs> oh we definitely need to get cubby on a discord chat group sometime i definitely think it will be a good idea um hello football's greatest i believe this is your first time welcome um, the football's greatest. Isn't the Bengaria the SS Imperator? I don't know about that. I don't really know about the football's greatest, but there's something I might have to look into, but I just don't really know. But great username, by the way. I definitely like that username. Uh, DK says, oh, with the Titanic submarine, uh, submersible model as well. So, oh, submersible model? Uh, oh, are you trying to build the Lego Titanic without and while playing with Cubby to get distracted? <laughs> oh, bless you both. Jess says Titanic glory, uh, Titanic honor and glory. I know you said Titanic glory, but I think you mean Titanic honor and glory. Um, I'm making a Britannic video um this month. I did say to the comments for them, yes. I definitely know that doing the Titanic on the glory. They've done a real-time sinking video, what, well, two, twice already. And I know that um, Ocean Liner Designs, Mike, he, they're doing, a, doing the do a documentary for the 21st on the Britannic. And I'm so excited. And I'm hoping to, I did ask, but I'm hoping to get apply for permission because if we can do that then and if there's some bits parts of the sinking from the documentary we can react to we will definitely do that i think it's going to probably take a little bit of a while because the video is not coming out until on the day so this is going to be like a little last minute thing i think um dk says i don't have the big model uh put together yet i'm planning to do of course you are because you've got to have two weeks off of course you are um flo says a g for the three imperial class german passenger liners were given one to each white star line cunard and american line they become the majestic the bulgaria and the leverin i think that's how you pronounce it but i don't know but i'm sorry if i butched it <laughs> yeah so um the chest says they were a lot lot of them want to know about the britannic most of go up to history and that so, oh jess oh oh bless you oh thank you jess that's really kind of you Flo says the uh, periator launched a few months after titanic uh i think that and was a bit bigger than her 
Oh, okay, okay. So, so from what I understand, Imperity was launched in June. Mm, mm, mm. Right. So, I definitely think it's something to keep an eye on, actually. Anyway, we're 15 minutes in and we still haven't talked about what I got up to. So, I'm going to have to do that in a minute because I know I keep going distracted by your lovely comments. As much as I really enjoy your comments, I always get distracted on this thing. But to be honest, though, you talking about different things, including chips, they always make my day come rain or shine. And I think you guys are amazing. You're amazing. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, oh. Plo said, um, so a great ocean liners were given uh, to the uh, comp competitant? competitant. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Plo. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, Captain Mike says, I hope we can join the 47th anniversary of the Mighty Fits stream, but I fear that's doubtful. The Mighty Fits stream. Oh, I don't know about that before. No, that'll be interesting to research. Anyway, because one of the reasons, main reasons why I wanted to show you is this. Now, I know I put the petition in the chat, the live chat, and I have will put the petition in the description box down below. But this diary, I'll give you probably loads of like, there you go. This diary, I'm keeping a journal of all all the things that I've done for raising the petition for the Titanic. Well, not Titanic, Britannic. I beg your pardon. I'm trying to do the things to keep about the Britannic. So what I've done is I've made some notes and I've did some writing, including um, in, including the scripts that I have written. Um, what um, I've written about one script for the petition from the change.org website and the script that I've written for the upcoming petition video, which I still keep meaning to do, but I haven't done that yet. But it is on the list. I'm hoping to do that tomorrow, get it all recorded and sort it out for tomorrow. So hopefully the sooner we get to do that, the better. But I definitely think it will just be a great thing. And what I did with this diary as well is that I actually made notes on based on how much signatures that was raised, how much people donated, and a little bit of feedback notes that I've got to do. So so far, um this is what I've done. So I'm gonna try and have a, like a little proper look. I know that you guys can't really see it because of the screens, but um, but I think if you um like know some of the bits, this is um all, all the bit uh like the text I copied out from the change.org petition. So I've done that, but hopefully I will release the script for the petition video at some point, but I, I definitely don't know um what I'm gonna do with that. So yeah, so I've done this and then um what what else did I do and when, when I actually celebrated my first goal I got a little celebration party hat because why not <laughs> but I definitely think it's just like a really nice idea just to do that and I you know me well I love to draw <clears throat> and some people might not know this but I love to draw I have junk journals that I keep every year and I've kept a junk journal since 2020 so it's all of like really the great things that I always do which is really lovely and I actually uh, enjoy junk journaling so I definitely think it's really really good and then also I do uh, do like loads of different stuff anyway and I, I just I keep like not lots of notes and the last things I do I haven't written anything for today because I haven't written like anything tomorrow but this is what I've planned to do but unfortunately I didn't write anything for today but I'm just gonna say it hasn't uh, made a difference yet because um the signatures are put on a stand still at the moment but it's my fault because I haven't been sharing a lot recently even though I'm trying but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that and then tomorrow I'll give you like a up close but hopefully you guys can see uh tomorrow's task is planning so I'm gonna have to make some bullet points on what to do for the planning so I might uh put down just to see I need to do the petition video and then 
Um, I might just try I'll throw the letter just to see if I can actually reach out the letter to his majesty the king because yes I'm going far and then write a letter to Buckingham Palace about this and then possibly the British government I don't know about it for sure but I definitely will keep my hopes on it and um, I definitely will probably be pushing Titanic Quarter Limited even though they haven't got a response haven't got a response from them yet but I'm going to keep trying because I definitely don't really want to um, the Britannic's petition to be thrown out the window and I don't think it's going to happen since M Remembrance Day is coming up but I don't think it's going to happen so maybe it's going to probably take a little bit of a while to get there but who knows we're just going to see how it goes but in the meantime I'm keeping the diary I'm trying to keep everything up to date because if it all goes well, I have a feeling that depending on what's gonna probably going on, I might write a book about it or a novel in the future. I don't know yet for sure, but I think this is kind of like the thing I've always wanted to do. But I, I just definitely think that hopefully with the keeping with the journal, I'm hoping we could go really far with this. So fingers crossed everything will be fine but if there are any changes in all of that I, I'll probably like show you in the future I might pop the journal up again at some point because I definitely excuse me <coughs> oh <coughs> my asthma's not really calming down <coughs> okay see when I'm in a bad, bad cough <laughs> but um yeah so I definitely think I will do some updates at some point but um, I definitely think this is going to be, like, for the time being, just to see how we go. But, yeah, I definitely think that's probably what to do. Uh, DK says, I'm working on a video about the Britannic's transportation ID number that is underneath the bridge windows. Ooh, really? I'm very intrigued. Oh, I can't wait to see that, DK. Uh, Jake says, although the Majestic was not given to the White Star Line, the purchase um her with the money they received for the loss of the Britannic. Okay, okay. Hmm. So it's definitely hard to keep up. Uh who's cooler? Mauritania or Lusitania? Lucid uh definitely Lusitania, I would say football's greatest. Do you know what football's greatest? Jake can absolutely agree because he's he is so very knowledgeable about the Lusitania, especially with the sinking. Because even though Jake's called Mr. Britannic, he, I think he should have a nick another nickname, Mr. Britannic and Mr. Lusitania. What do you guys think? Do you think Jake should have a new nickname, Mr. Lusitania? Definitely, definitely chat in the comments, uh, just in the live chat and the comment section down below. I think he's going to be a little bit embarrassed by it, but I definitely, definitely think that that new nicknames will give it there for jake but yeah uh go to the britannic says there's a hospital <laughs> oh oh chess britannic was named after royal britannia oh okay this is something i never heard of uh heard of like there jake Ooh, okay that's gonna be a new video i think because i know i've done a video about the gigantic and i know there was a new narrator that's coming on that's narrated it but um, I definitely never heard of that one before, Jake. Um, Brit uh, Britannic's named after Royal Britannia. You're going to have to send me some more information on Discord, Jake, please, because I would love to know more about it. I definitely, definitely need to know more about it. We need uh, Mr. and Mrs. Edmund Fitzgerald. What do you think, Captain Alex? <laughs> I don't know the answer to this one, unfortunately. I wish I knew, but I don't. <laughs> He is Lusitania, me Britannic. Oh, Jess. <laughs> it is a little weird that the blow the Lusitania to get her propellers. Oh, you mean like the propellers like raising up? Yeah, because um, I know I've done a video about it, but um, I still find it a bit uh weird. I mean, the propeller blade, um, at the Liverpool Museum. That's I mean, I feel okay with that as well as. Um, in Texas, but making it into golf clubs, no, that's why would you do that? That's so disrespectful, and it still makes me angry about it because it's not cool. Um, DK says, uh, luckily we have someone on Discord that knows the Great Lakes Raiders. Oh, is that Mr. Williams? I definitely think it, it might be Mr. Williams. Uh, Britannic's name appears on the British passports. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, 
Okay. I'm, I definitely need to know more about that, Jake. Please send me lots of information. I'd definitely love to know more. Uh, Jess says, maybe you could do a video on how the rescue ship from the Britannic came. Oh, the four rescue ships. The HMS Scrooge, was that was one of them, right? And the Hood, I think. I might give that a try, actually, because I don't really know enough information about the ships. But it's worth a try. But I can't really guarantee that I would probably do that, to um, to be honest. Uh, Jake says, I think I'm more known for Britannic than Lusitania. <laughs> well, I definitely think you do, Jake, to be fair. Yeah. Um, Scrooge, Herrick and Foxhound. Oh, Jess, thank you. Yeah, there is one more, but definitely the three ones. That is brilliant, Jess. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. 25 minutes in blimey that's um that's gone really quick actually mm. well i know that i've got a few more videos that are coming up at the end of um britannic month but um i know that um that there are loads of different bits and bobs but <clears throat> But yeah, we'll just over after to see how you go. Uh, hey, Mr. Britannic, how can we raise that? Ah, football's greatest. That's a good question because there is a video coming out about it on Monday. And yeah, because normally it is impossible to raise the, the wreck of the Britannic. But there is a reason why. But everyone's going to have to wait until Monday to find out more. The rescue ship uh, were later with the Britannic. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, Jake says that we can't. But football's greatest, wait until Monday because the answers to this will be revealed. And I know that it, it will really uh, make Jake happy because Jake wanted the video up for such a long time and we're finally doing it next Monday. So... <laughs> Go us! Woo woo woo! <laughs> but I definitely think it's probably a good idea just to put the the bit down once and for all. <clears throat> because Jake, we did agree that um a lot of people say that we can, but we can finally just put things to rest. I think that we agreed on, didn't we? But yeah, I definitely think it's just something just to uh just to like consider about because it is really important it's very important to do that really and it's, it's just something that it's always it makes it a bit special and all that but yeah definitely uh both system will be resected on the seafloor absolutely jess because you know with the britannic and titanic they they always got to like show respect really especially um it's titanic because there's a lot of controversy going on at the minute because of you know the titan sub and then also there's numerous court cases at the moment i mean i'm trying to keep up with them as much as i can but i know that because of the titan disaster most of the expeditions that not are not part of ocean gate um have been cancelled or postponed because of the recent events but i know that um there is an attempt to go inside the titanic titanic's bow but because there is a rule from the american and british governments that the hole can't be explored in because it's out of respect because the ship is a war grave and then also you got to consider the, the amount of danger that's going to be in there because you know, the ship could collapse at any time and someone could, you know, not make it or something. But um, it, it's going to be a little bit of a toughy one because I don't think anyone's going to agree with that, really. So, yeah, I, I definitely think um, it's really hard because a lot of people would love to like actually um go into the wreck to explore things inside a different world mainly to take pictures but then also people would love to have the marconi uh wireless operator from the titanic but you've got one from the britannic as well but um yeah i don't really think uh, it's going to be possible but um we definitely would love to host a discord um discussion about it really because i definitely think this will be a very interesting one and even though I, I can't really keep up with them at the moment we will resume our discord um debate nights when we can i think because there was a schedule to put it up every thursday but sometimes i'm busy and then everyone's busy so it's, it's a little bit harder, really. It's a little bit harder. But 
no, I, de- I definitely think that um, it's really good just to actually keep options open. Uh, football's greatest. I think Britannic is some ki- uh, kind of key to have a look at Titanic. It's such an underrated ship. You know what football's greatest? I absolutely agree with you because it's it, the Britannic is such an underrated ship. And then Jake's followed on that. You can't have Britannic without Titanic and you can't have Titanic without Britannic. There we go. There you go, football's greatest, because you definitely know the answer to this one. Well, Jake always just says, like, the right answers to know this one. <laughs> uh, Lusitania's Marconi radio is gone, so forget that. That's Captain Alex. How did the Marconi radio win? I don't know. I mean, uh, I think there was one picture of the Marconi wireless operator room from the Lusitania that I come across. But um, I don't think there's any more of that, really. So it's probably gone. Maybe it might be destroyed um, because um, the Royal Navy uh, still uses the area as target practice. But I don't really know. But it will be interesting to see what happened to the Marconi radio of the Lusitania. Uh, And you can't have them without the Olympic. uh, Yes, football's greatest. Yes. I'm definitely thinking that I should do a bit more traveling. I know I want to go to the White Swan Hotel because that's where the Olympic is. I definitely would love to um, go to like various places a bit more that are to do with the Olympic class liners. But yeah, I definitely really want to go and do different things over there. Um, Jess says, Titanic and Britannic are sisters. You cannot uh, take them for, from them apart. Ah, yes, Jess, exactly. Exactly, Mondo. You know what? Um, I'm, I'm just going to do something for a second. Um, so, uh, it's... Uh, it's definitely just one of those things. It's um, it, it's just really impossible, really. But uh, yeah, sorry, I got absolutely distracted. <laughs> so um, Jake says, sadly, Olympic has been has gone. Uh, whereas we have uh, a Britannic and Titanic, so we can study them exactly, exactly. So that's and that's why I wanted to go to the White Swan Hotel because it's something that is very like special but I think next year for me is going to be the year of traveling especially since it's my 30th anyway so I'm gonna really make it count and try to go traveling as much as I can next year because I definitely think I really need to have a little bit of a boost up because 2023 hasn't been not really great I have to be honest but um I definitely think 2024 is going to be the year of traveling that's that's definitely what I want to do so I definitely would love, I would definitely would love to travel to different places, um, like the White Swan Hotel, and then back to Southampton again, and also I'd like to go abroad like Corfu, maybe Paris, I, I don't know yet, but then I also got to get back to do the Titanic Museum in Bristol, that's another thing that I've always liked to do, and then yeah, we'll just see how we go from that. I definitely need to make travel plans. That's the thing to do on the list. Probably just start arranging it from December. Uh, football's greatest. Damn, that was what I was thinking about. We still have two Olympic class ships, and the one that lasted the most, that uh, one that we don't have, it feels kind of weird to be honest. You know what, football's greatest? I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I definitely never thought of it that way. That's quite an interesting point. Um, Jess, Titanic Belfast, maybe, maybe I might go back to that. I mean, I've had a really good time there, so I'm thinking that I want to go back, but um, I just have to consider it like as well. SS Great Britain, yes, if I'm in Bristol, I will try and visit SS Great Britain, and yeah, I definitely really um do that. A uh, place says, if you ever want to go to Numburg, there would be a room space there for you. Oh, Plo, that's so kind. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll definitely have to see if um I might do Germany. I've never been to Germany, so but I've I've heard like uh, they've got some like things over there in Germany. Oh, <gasps> Barry, long time no see. How are you? Oh, oh, it's so great to see you, Barry. But uh, I I definitely really want to do like some extra traveling a bit but I will might consider Germany but uh, I I definitely would love to actually try like things um 
uh, biggest uh, Jess, where is the Carpathia wreck? I believe Carpathia is um, sank off the coast of Ireland. I mean, Jake or DK will know better than me, but I th- I don't know where the location is. But um, from what I can remember, the Carpathia sank uh, off the coast of Ireland. Um, DK says, uh, is Namabad Kingdom Rule is an amazing engineer when, and when it came to the tunnels, uh, train stations and ships as well. Oh, okay. I'd never heard of him before. That's interesting. Uh, is Carpathia where the Lusitania is? Um, I, I'm not really too sure. Anyway, I, I might have a look at that, actually. I'm sure there is a website um, where the ship, uh, shipwrecks are. Um, and let me see. So I'm doing like, like shipwreck locations online uh, on Google Earth. Let, let's let, let's do do that. Actually, that might be um, that might be quite good. Actually, I I definitely think we should do more. I know you can see uh, shipwrecks live on Google Earth. Oh, that is really interesting. I definitely think that might be. Um, I like this thing. So let's have a look in alphabetical. Well, actually, that's two. So Carpathia um, shipwreck. Let's see. So have, nope, that is really wrong. Um, hey now, let's uh, let, let's see if we can try and do um, yeah, Carpathia. Shipwreck location on Google Earth. Let's have a look. Uh, GP math coordinates. Here we go. Uh, let's have a seat. So, I'm I'm sorry, no one can see this, but we're just gonna have to see where it is. Oh, yep, she's off of um Ireland. Oh, here we go. Uh, she sank uh in longitude. Um, so. From what I could see on Google Maps, she's a little bit off the coast of Ireland, but um, she's in the Celtic Sea. I don't know where, but she's in the Celtic Sea. But I think um, someone else might know about it. Um, Carpathia. Oh, Jake. Yeah, we go. Carpathia Rex lies a west of Fast Nest, which is the coast of Ireland. Ah, Jake. Amazing. Thank you so much. What will I do without you? What would I do? Without you, uh, Sars can't type much. Uh, Coco, Carlos. Oh, oh, how's Coco the kitten doing? Oh, I mean, to be fair though, very DK is having loads of uh cat cuddles and playtime with Cubby, so I, I definitely think it's understandable. But we definitely want lots of kitty friends, I think. Yeah, but I, I definitely think lo- lots of kitty friends will be fantastic. Oh, my goodness! So, I, I definitely think. We, we've done lots of Britannic. We've done cats. We're cool. We're, we're the cool lot. We're the cool gang. <laughs> I definitely think it's been really, really good. Uh, 18 months, so a teen cat rather than a kitten. <gasps> no, Coco's not 18 months. Surely not. Oh. Oh, where does the time go? Oh, Barry, where does the time go? It's just... It just goes so quick. Uh, Lusitania, Titanic, uh, and many more. Yep, definitely. Um, I mean, Titanic was uh, sunk in the North Atlantic Ocean, and the Lusitania was sunk in the Celtic. So, oh, oh, Jess was asking uh, everyone what was their favourite shipwreck, and I think DK was answering that one. Oh, sorry about that. I, I mean, I didn't notice it from before. Uh, yep, and... Um, and uh, sorry, I cannot really speak. Let me start again. Eh. <laughs> Barry says, "Yep," and a little so and so. Uh, oh yes, the terrible twos. <laughs> Who doesn't think about having a kitten as a terrible two? <laughs> oh, because my t- Titan is my favourite one. No, ah. Oh. You are right there. Woohoo! I I definitely think Titanic. Even though she's like uh, very popular, she she's just a, a favorite ship really for a lot of reasons. But uh, yeah, and the Justus, uh, Justusia. Uh, I cannot even pronounce her her name, but I need to do one of her as 
soon as um, as I can, really. Probably next year's video. How about warships? You guys like them? Yeah, I mean, there were. I have done a few warships. Uh, I know that the video, the Yamato that I did was really good. The one I did last year. And then I did the USS Thrasher. And then I need to do the USS Scorpion at some point. <coughs> But yeah, I definitely think it might be a good, a good time. Costa Concordia, I we done a reaction video to that, Barry, but I might do a whole video on that for next year. That might be a good idea. Uh, don't forget the Carpathia. Yeah, we've already done the Carpathia there, Jess. Don't worry. Um, DK says, I mentioned aircraft arcanas in the rates uh, suggestion channel. Says, yep, um, you have already done that, DK. I definitely think I will move it to the second channel, Journey Through the Ages, because... I think that might be a bit more um, appropriate that way, but I definitely will, will think we're just going to have to do aircraft carriers. Um, Bismarck is my favourite battleship. Jake, really? I did not know that. I didn't know you had a favourite battleship. Oh, that's wicked. Okay, Jake, we need to arrange something for next year. If you want to do a recording interview of the Bismarck, We'll have ourselves down for that to record for next year. Yes, because we can do that. We can absolutely do that. Um, DK says um, each of them uh, were named after US presidents. Really? They were named after US presidents? I did not know that. That's really interesting. Oh, that's really, really interesting. Um, football's greatest. Yeah, Bismarck was like a, a, a Vader's death star oh like uh dark vader's vast uh vesta ah oh, gotcha gotcha okay um britannic is the uh, best hospital ship best passenger ship uh olympic best troop ship and the best shipwreck is the britannic <gasps> that is really good jess i really like your like your suggestions actually uh dustin says 10 of them plus the uss john f kennedy is under construction at this moment Oh, oh, a battleship one, a new one. Okay, okay, I like the sound of that. I wonder if there's any inf information about it so we can do a video about it. We'll definitely what we'll do that. <gasps> maritime! I was wondering when you're gonna show up. How are you? Um sorry for being like maritime, you are not late, you are absolutely fine. You are absolutely fine because no one, even though everyone's just like, oh, it's yet. Yeah um but yeah well, definitely um uh hang on uh, guys sorry uh yeah i definitely think it's definitely something that um i would say not not late just uh you're just having fun because no one's ever late um barry says if if you had a ship of your own what would you call it <gasps> Oh, that is a really good question, Barry. I like that. That's the best question I've heard all week, actually. Um, that was a really good one. That was a really good one. Hang on, because I think I, that's given me an idea. I, I know I wanted something to do um, under a Latin name because it's a traditional. Uh, let's have a look to see which one. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. So we've got a lot of like names here. Okay, so if uh, I had a ship name and it's under the latter name, I would have the RMS Adrian, um, and then or what was it? Uh, the RMS Caesar or Cecilia or the RMS or or the RMS. Valent and Andreas, I think that's how you pronounce it. Andreas, yeah, but I think that's just one of those two names, really. But maybe I should do a video on it, that might be interesting. Hello, do you think you might be helping out with the drawing if it was the case? Because that will definitely be a very good Christmas video to do. I think that's a really good idea. I would definitely love that. <laughs> uh, well, here goes my uh, first place on the spot for the QA. Oh, Captain Alex, bless you. Um, SS um, Malvinians, all, all Clone Wars fans will get that one. Oh, I definitely don't. I'm not a Clone Wars fan, so I probably won't get that one. But I'm really sorry about that. Uh, a drawing for what? Oh, um, I'll probably DM you later. 
And because uh, we'll definitely sort that out, really. But it's something to do with uh, favorite fictional shit, actually. But I'll I'll DM you on Discord a bit later. And that's um, yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely just something that well, we definitely have to. That's definitely like as an idea, really. But um, what's everyone's favorite one, actually? Uh, a ship a dee doo da. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Barry, that is really, really cool. Uh, Football's Greatest said, I would name it uh, the Empress of Death. That would be a pirate ship. <gasps> Empress of Death. That sounds really spooky, actually, like a pirate ship. You've just given me spine chills for that. That's Football's Greatest. But I love that idea. But by any chance, are you a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean? I would definitely love to know about that. Um, Barry says, Shippy McShip. <laughs> I love that <laughs> ship in time. That is brilliant. I absolutely love these ideas. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Britannic goes, would you like to go to Titanic and Britannic before they are gone? <gasps> Good question, Jess. Well, it depends because I'm not a qualified diver and I can't really experience it. And it also can be quite dangerous. So I'm not really too sure. But if I did have the chance... I did used to say, okay, let's dive to Britannic, but because of, um, not Britannic, Titanic, but because of the circumstances now, I've gone past that. So it's mainly the Britannic, I think, um, um, from that. Um, <laughs> Barry says, make a ship happen. Mm, definitely, definitely. Uh, DK says, USS Stony Mix. <laughs> Oh my god, I love how everyone cre is everyone's creative tonight. Oh, oh. oh. <coughs> I, uh, Jess says, I want to go to the Britannic in a submarine. You know what? I think just going visiting the Britannic in the submarine, even though it's cool, I I'm not really too sure if a submarine will give a whole experience, but I would love to dive in the scuba suit. I don't know if it, how dangerous it will be more competitive to be in the submersible or a submarine, but that would be really cool if I, I would have dived there, probably with the Britannic divers. I I definitely think if I was qualified enough, I would love to have done it, really. Um, Hello says, SS Admiral uh, Val... I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Val... Ren? I think that's how you pronounce it, but I really don't know. Sorry, Flo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely think it as well. Uh, uh, Captain Alex says, I know uh, my the RMS Arno uh, Doran. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just, these are really good answers, I think. Um, Britannic was the first to be underwater museum from Robert Ballard. Yes, that's right, actually. I don't know the full story of Robert Ballard and the Britannic, but I need to look into that at some point. I really, really need to. Okay, even though we're nearly 50 minutes in, I think it's time for a Q&A. Would anyone be up for a Q&A now? Because um, I, I even though I could go to the one hour mark, I think I'm worried I'm going to still be a bit coffee. So, um, would anyone like to do it now? Okay, Maritime's down for that. Uh, Jess is down. Um, <laughs> Jess is saying oh, double yes. I love it. I love it. And uh, and <laughs> Barry says yes. Uh, I always do badly, so I can either blow out or give uh, snarky answers. Barry. It doesn't really matter. And there's bound to be one or two anyone can get right, really. So it doesn't really matter if they're snarky or not. But I have a feeling one's gonna there's gonna be a right one out there somewhere. Uh Plo says I can try, but I don't know that much there. No worries, Plo. Definitely give it a try. Because if you don't try, you never know, really. Um, I would stare at maritime. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think Captain Alex and Maritime, they're going to be butting heads again. <laughs> Maritime, definitely get your quiz head on because I know if Sam does a live stream tomorrow, that's a good warm up for the live stream. Okay, so as we all know, it, it's since it's Britannic month, we are all doing things Britannic, but I know there's bound to be a few questions that some people get right. But yeah, Maritime says we shall see. Oh, oh, maritime. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Uh, right. Okay. So, DK, quick question. 
are you ready to do some scores on the doors? Would you be the quiz master again or like the little uh, quiz scoreboard? And um, I, I know we got there. We, I think everyone's joining in this time round. So I definitely think we'll put everybody down for that. So I definitely re really think everyone's going to be down. So that will be really great. I uh, got it. Yeah. So everyone's going to be joining in this time. So uh, if you've joined, but then you say no at the last minute, sorry, there's no going back now because once you've joined, you've joined. There's no letting go now. <laughs> but I think you guys are going to do great. So I'm going to probably start off with the warm up question. Now we've got 12 questions, but there is always a warm up question. So let's see if we could do like the warm up question. Remember, there is no right and wrong, but I'm going to actually start being a little bit stricter with um like some of the like the stuff really because every time everyone always says uh like answers they always don't answer when I say go so I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time and what I'm gonna do is that before I go saying go um we're gonna be using this tone um so yes here we are so when um let, let's have a look so when um so when you actually uh, hear a question, uh, you'll probably go, um, so, uh, no, I'm loving it on a little bit, sorry. So the question is, when I ask a question, just hold on for a minute, but if you hear the this sound, yep, yeah, the, the Olympics whistle, that means go. So hopefully you can hear that okay. So this is uh, like the thing, what, what's the word go? So yeah, I definitely think it will be a word go. Um, hang on, actually, not the um, um, Olympics whistle because it's not going to be loud and clear. Let's try again. Ugh, I hate it when it's adverts. It's just like one of those things. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. I think I probably will. Okay, so when you hear this noise, that means um, it's always ready, steady, go. So when you hear this sound again after the question, that means you have to uh, go. Right, okay. So we'll do a warm-up question. So I hope you get your thinking caps on, guys. So here we go. First question. This ship was built by Harland and Wolf which was yard number 433. By 1915, it was later requisitioned to play a huge role for the Darnell service, providing first aid and to care for the British and enemy soldiers. What was the name of the ship? So I will repeat this question again before I sound the ship's horn. This ship was built by Harland and Wolf, which was yard number 433, by 1915, it was later requisitioned to play a huge role for the Donnell service, providing first aid and to care for British and enemy soldiers. What was the ship's name? On your marks, get set, go! Right, okay, so who's got the first? So, uh, how are we going? Yeah, Maritime and Alex got Britannic. Well done, guys. So, we definitely give them a point because they, they were the first ones to do it. So, I definitely think they, they deserve a point each. Bo, oh, I'm sorry, Bo, but you were too late. Sorry, you have to be really quick after the ship's horn. So, sorry, but, um, but it was just a warm up question. So, it, it was really good. So, sometimes you have to be really quick on on the question but I think what I'll do rather than repeating it I think I'm just going to going to ask it the once and then we'll just see how I go because I think it will definitely be a bit more quicker uh I only wrote what the others wrote yeah Ply, but you're gonna have to be quick especially since I'm not going to repeat the questions anymore because um it, it's going to be a little bit of a knockout but anyway we are going uh anyone uh, know the ship's horn and I uh, don't know what the ship's horn is, DK. I'll definitely have to look into that later. Anyway, anyway, 
we'll get on to the real toughy ones. So, question one. The Britannic served as this role, meaning the ship has to be painted white, painted red crosses, and a green stripe across the hull with yellow funnels. What was the role of the Britannic? On your marks, get set. Right. I always forget to stop it after each time. Uh, <gasps> Maritime's got it. Yeah, Maritime's got it. And so is Plo as well. I think they both got it at the same time. So we'll give them a point each. Uh, and everyone I know has got it, but we're going to have to be, you're going to have to be really quick, guys. I'm definitely really sorry. Right. Okay. Oh, so sorry, guys, but you're going to have to be really, really quick this time around. But okay. So Maritime and Plo got a point each. But yes. But even though everyone's got the right answer, you're going to have to be quick. But yeah, if I don't catch in, if you've got the right answer, I'm really sorry. But you're going to have to be really quick and be prepared to get a point. But anyway, let's go on to question number two. This beautiful item from... Okay, let me start again. Sorry, I've stuttered. This beautiful item for the Britannic was meant to be installed inside the ship but never happened due to the outbreak of the First World War. What was the instrument and where it was it originally supposed to be at? On your marks, get set. <laughs> right, okay. <clears throat> so let's get one. Oh, organ as fly car staircase, pipe organ. Oh. A grand staircase? No, I think who got that one right? It was Jess got that right um, as well. Yeah, so Jess got it right. It was the pipe organ, but um, it wasn't supposed to be in the grand. Um, uh, it wasn't supposed to be. It was. Oh yeah, it was the foot. Sorry, I was looking through the questions, but I didn't really know. Um, Plo, I will give you that. Really, because I don't know, uh, anyone doesn't know the full name, but I will give you that, play because you've got two there. Uh, Maritime, I got, uh, you can have that down as well. And, oh, I'm sorry, Jess, but um, even though you did say pipe organ, I was looking for like two answers, but I'm, um, no, actually, uh, no, uh, I mean, it was the right answer, but I don't think you got that quick. So sorry, Jess. But um, yeah, so Plo and Maritime, you get a point as well. But yeah, but I think it it's going to be really tough because it's going to be between Plo and it's going to be between <laughs> you got to be like between maritime. Okay, so we're gonna to have to see who's gonna be the next new maritime for the week. <laughs> what Shane actually asked a question. Okay, Shane, hello. What happened to the Britannic swimming pool? That's a really good question. I don't know. I need to have a look at as well. This is getting heated. Yeah, it is maritime. It's getting really heated this time, but this is my favorite kind of thing. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna move on to question number. Number three now. Question three. The Britannic was launched from the Harlander Wharf shipyard at yard number two, where the RMS Olympic was launched from this same slipway. What was the date of the Britannic's launch? On your marks, get set. <laughs> right, okay. So there we go. Oh, Jess got that. 26th of February, 1914. So did, um, not Plo, Maritime. So Jess and Maritime, they got it together at the same time. So I'll give you a, a point each for that. Um, Plo says no. Oh, sorry, Plo. Uh, no, not, um, not, well, 1914, Shane, but I needed a date. So I'm afraid there's no point there. So Jess and Maritime, you got that point each. Well done, guys. <laughs> it's definitely getting really tense now. I, I definitely think it is getting really tense. So what's going to happen next is we'll go up to question five and then we'll uh, do scores on the doors. Right. OK, so question four. The HMHS Britannic makes this stop at a town in Italy to refuel for coal before heading out into the Argentinian Sea for the Darnell service. 
What was the name of this town? And for bonus points, what was the volcano that lo- overlooks the town? On your marks, get set. <laughs> right, okay. So, who's going to get it first? Naples, yes, Jess, but I was looking for a name of there. Maritimes got it again. Naples and Val and Mazarius. But I think definitely, since you only got the um, right answer, but not the bonus point, Jess, I'll give you that, actually. So Jess and Maritime have got another point again. <laughs> you guys are on a roll. Oh, my goodness. I, I definitely think this is going to get a very uh, tense moment this time. OK, so question them. But actually, DK actually left me a, a fact which I didn't really know, but I'm going to show it anyway. Uh, Mount v- uh, Varus is the volcano responsible for destroying the Roman city of Pompeii and other surrounding cities in 79 AD. Its last eruption was in March of 1944 during World War II. But there we go. <laughs> Good one to have there, DK. So, OK, question five before we do schools on the doors. The HMHS Britannic only had one captain during her crossings. And he also has a cool nickname as well. What was the name of this captain? And I'm looking for first and last name. Middle name is not required, but only first and last name of the Britannic's captain. And for a bonus point, what was his nickname? On your marks, get set. There we go. So who's going to get it? Oh yeah, Cap- Captain Charles um, uh, Bartlett. So no, not not Charlie Albert Maritime, but I'll give you a point for uh, Charles Alfred Bartlett, but not the nickname. Sorry, but I'll definitely give you that. Uh, Captain Alex, I will give you that as well. <gasps> Plo, yes, you got it right. The whole thing right. Well done. So well done there, Plo. You did a definitely full point on all of that. Yeah, it's still Maritime said Ice by Charlie, but you didn't really get the like the thing. So I, I'm really sorry, but you get a point for the name. So yeah, it's like, hello, is that now I've done? How are you? We're just about doing the quiz. Um <laughs> Alex is laughing. Right. Shall we do the scores on the doors, DK? I think Alex is really enjoying Maritime's humiliation, I think. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That is really, really funny. <laughs> but we've definitely got to do like loads of scores and all of that. So I try, try to see what to do with the scores on the doors. Uh, is your cold better? Yeah, cold's a bit better, thanks, Dan. But I've got uh, an asthmatic cough. I went to the doctor uh, for the hospital on Tuesday. So I'm just waiting for the results again. Oh, Shane. <laughs> oh, a volcano, a volcano emoji. I saw that. I saw that. But we've definitely got to um, try and find out. Oh, okay, DK, here we go. Um, So in first place, Maritime with seven points. In tied second place is Jessam, Jessam Plo. In third place, we have Alex and... And joined last place with a wooden spoon so far is Barry. <laughs> yep. So I definitely think it, it was just like uh, those time. <laughs> I did so say Captain Charles Barlett. Yeah, you, you did, uh, Jess. I did see, see you. I think I did give you a point. I think uh, I did anyway. But uh, yeah. Um, uh, sorry to hear that. I've hope uh, had the asthma in the past and it's horrible. I hope you get the results soon. Oh, thanks. Thanks, that nav, Dan. And uh, this is going really well. Yeah, it is going really well, actually. I definitely like, like the stuff anyway. Anyway. Shall we get on to question number six? And I think we'll do the schools and the doors again when we get to question 10. And then we'll do the last two questions. But if it's a tie, we will do a tie break question. So question number six. This U-boat was in the Argentinian Sea laying down underwater mines prior before the HMHS Britannic struck one and sank. What was the name of this German U-boat? On your marks, get set, go. Right, okay, so we've got go. Oh, 
Maritai, you said 72. No, I know you tried to correct it in 73, but sorry, I can't give you that, Maritai. I'm really sorry. Um, Dan, sat there, Dan says you 73. Oh, yeah, Dan's joining now. So definitely put him down for that, please, VK. Um, it also sank the HMS uh, Baldi Gala. Yeah, and I've done a video on that with Jake. Uh, Jess, yep, you said that right as well. So, Jess, you got a point as well as that nav Dan. So, because um, I did see you there already there, but I got distracted by DK's comment anyway. So, sorry, Maritime, but you're still in the lead now. You still got to get there. So, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Shay, you did get it right, but it was too late. Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. So, question number seven we're on question number seven jing john right okay let's do question number seven when the hmhs britannic hit the mine it also caused these cables to snap between the two mast two masts beg your pardon what were these cables on your marks get set <laughs> right okay so here we go. My screen's frozen. Uh, Ship Santana, yes, Maritime, but I'm looking for one more, but I can give you half a point for that. Marconi, yes, Plo, that is right. But um, Yantana and Marconi was the full answer. But Plo, I'll give you half a point. Alex, I saw yours quick. I gave, I'll give you half a point as well. Um, uh, yep, so you like got, got it right there. And then Tanya, um, Maritime, I'll give you half a point as well. Uh, Jess, I did see your answer, but you were a little bit too late, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry. But, um, but, but, uh, yeah, so I know you got your answer, but sorry, Jess, I can't give you that round, really. But, um, with everything else, it was half a point. But well done, guys. It's not a really easy one, but you did really, really well. Well done, guys. Okay, so we are going to move on to question number eight. We're whizzing through these quite quick today. That's really good for a Saturday night. Question eight, this Boy Scout, well, actually, Jess, you might get this one straight away because this is your question. If you do not get this straight away, I will be very surprised. I definitely will. Um, question eight, this Boy Scout managed to escape death by jumping up onto a lifeboat rope and dodged the port propeller blade that killed 35 people 35 okay well 35 people during the sinking however he is also the last survivor of the hmhs britannic what was his name on your marks get set okay so who we're gonna go with yeah uh george um pierman yeah george pierman yes you got that right i definitely expect you to get a point there so Go, Jess. That's a point. Maritime, you got a point as well. Um, DK says, I got distracted. Who got half a point? Half a point were Maritime, Plo, and Captain Alex. But uh, yeah, so Jess and Maritime have got it right. Well done, guys. That was brilliant. Jess, I knew you were going to get it because it was your question. So yay, Jess, that is absolutely amazing. You're a superstar. Definitely know that. Um, you got uh, that one, Maritime, but your first phase is like, <gasps> oh, 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 my goodness. Violet Jessup did help him. Did he help? Did she help him? How did she help him? Okay, I'm definitely going to have to look at that at some point. I did not know this. I did not know Violet Jessup helped George out. I need to look at this later on. <coughs> okay, so question number nine. Speaking of names, these three have, um, speaking of names, these three have one thing in common, surviving the Titanic disaster and the HMHS Britannic, but only two were involved in the collision of the RMS Olympic and the HMS Hawk. What were the names of these three? On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Right, okay. So here we go. <gasps> oh, yep, yeah, Jess got it right. Uh, Violet Jessup, other John Priest and Archie Jork. Yep, yeah, Jess, you get a point. Maritime, I saw you as well. You get half of... I, yeah, you definitely got the surnames, but I will give you points for that. Plo, um, I got it right as well. You Quick. So Maritime, Plo and Jess get a point each. 
if you watched the presentation video, yeah, it was featured on the presentation video from Thursday. So I definitely think you guys have watched it. So well done you. But I'm definitely going to have to do a video on the three unsinkables. I know that um, Jake and me, we did videos on Arthur John Priest. Arthur John Priest was the very first one that we did. And then we did one on Violet Jessup, but we need to still do Archie Jules one. But we'll get round to it when we do that, I think. But but yeah, wait until the sinking video. I'm shot, I'm stoked for that one. Oh, I know the feeling, DK, definitely. But I will have to do like a separate videos on the three unsinkables. That's what Jake's adopted them as uh, for Violet, Arthur and Archie. So yeah, we'll definitely do that with them um, for a video next year. E even, And then we've got to do a big one for Archie. Anyway, let's get on to the next question. The next question before we do the scores on the doors once again. <gasps> oh, DK's added another question for the end. DK, you are so, so sneaky, very sneaky. Okay, question 10. In 1975, this man discovered the HMHS Britannic and even held a conference on camera with surviving personnel. Uh, personnel, including Sheila Macbeth Mitchell, and entered the wreck with with his divers for the first time. What was the name of this explorer? On your marks, get set. <coughs> right, okay. <coughs> oh, I've done it twice now. I don't know why I did it twice. Maybe the ship's one was just enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, Jacques Cousteau, yep. Uh, Jess got it, Maritime got it, and Pelos got it, and Captain Alex, yeah, I'll definitely give you one for that because I know that um, even though you typed it wrong, I, I definitely think you, you've definitely got it. So I think Chloe and Alex, you, uh, but I think I know what you were trying to mean anyway, even though it was difficult to pronounce. So I'll give you both a point for that, I think. Uh, I cannot with the French names. Oh, Plo, bless you. Oh, uh, he, he was too late. Oh, no, I saw him. I saw Plo. So, so I'll give him a point for that. <laughs> right. Anyway, so um, J uh, Jess gets a point. Maritime gets a point. Alex gets a point, And Plo gets a point. But yeah. Oh, oh is that a ship's horn? I thought I'd eaten something bad. Ah! <laughs> no, no, Dan. No, no. It's a ship's horn just to say ready, steady, go. Uh, can we stop for a second? Oh, what's wrong, Chloe? Are you okay? Um, I think we're doing schools on the doors while we're at it anyway. Yeah, we are doing schools on the doors in a minute. So um, um, my stream's lagging up and I think I'm far behind. Okay, um, Chloe, why don't you refresh your computer? That might be a good idea. So if you refresh and then come back, then that might be um, a good way to do it. Because if, it, if it's playing up, then that might be the reason why. So if the stream keeps freezing... Just refresh it, and then when it comes back, it'll come back. But yeah, we'll wait. I will do the scores on the doors for a little bit while we're waiting. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a toughie. It's going to be a really big toughie this one. But DK, I still cannot believe that you added another question in. Very sneaky and very naughty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so we'll definitely do that. So we'll definitely do that for like loads of bits. So yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll definitely do this. Ah, DK Scott Schools on the doors. Amazing. So in first place, we have Maritime with 9.5 points. In second place, we have Plo with six points. In third place, we have Jess with five points. Alex with four points. Satnav, Dan, one point. And the zero, unfortunately, goes to Barry. <laughs> but apart from that, we, we were all good, I think. We're all good to go. So vi victory is going to be yours, Maritime. I can sense there's no stopping you, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't think you can send a link to the live stream, player. You might have to refresh and because that's, that's the only way you like to do it. So, And that's for anyone. If um, if that's that really, then <laughs> I forgot about Barry. 
you forgot Barry? DK, shame on you. Shame on you, DK. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm joking. Barry, you are love. Don't worry, hon. <laughs> but I know Coco's getting you distracted with all the cuddles. Bless her. Right. Okay. So we are uh, got like over there, really. So, uh, okay. That made that work. Okay, Plo. With that, you being said, we'll get back into question number 11. Right, question 11. Um, in 2009 and 2019, respectively, these two men died while diving to the wreck of the HMHS Britannic due to faulty equipment. What were the names of these two men? On your marks, get set. <laughs> right, okay. So there we go. Uh, for it to go. <gasps> yeah, Jess, you got it right. Uh, you got it right. Oh, Maritime's not sure. Oh, DK, we tricked Maritime for once. Yes. <laughs> well, I definitely think um, Jess got that right, really. So Jess is the only one that got it right. So we'll give Jess a point for that. <laughs> gotcha, Maritime. Woo woo. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. I'm going to have to tell Sam this. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, 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 Right. Okay. So I think with that being said, we're nearly there. So we've only got two questions left. And then once we've done that, we'll do the final scores on the doors. But if it's tie, we're going to have to do a tie break question. But yeah. Anyway, question 12. True or false? The wreck of the HMHS Britannic is protected by the Greek government as diving to the wreck without permission can lead up to 15 years in prison. Is it true or is it false? On your marks, get set. Right, okay. Let's see who gets it first. <gasps> Jess got it right. Well done. Got the truth. Maritime got it. Plo's got it. And Alex has got it. You all were really quick there. I definitely think you, you should get a point each. Definitely 100%. So we're final. We're going round to the final question. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? So give a thumbs up if you're ready, guys. Because if there's no thumbs up. If there are no thumbs up, then we're not ready. Ah, Jess is ready. Uh, Maritime's like, let's do this. We'll count as a thumbs up. We'll definitely do that. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely do that. <clears throat> okay, so question number 13, according to Sneaky DK. What's the name of the Britannic's transportation ID number? Now, I will repeat that because it's going to be a toughie, this one. What is the name of the Britannic's transportation ID number? And bear in mind, she has two, but we're finding out for the numbers. The transportation ID number. On your marks, get set. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little bit of joyous to, uh, to that. Repeat the two because it's like the final one. Uh, Sneaky of me is always, yeah, there we go. G A G 18 let's have a look. Um, G8, uh, G6, 8, uh, no, G, G18, sorry, Jess, that is wrong. Uh, so, but, um, but hang on, let's have a look. Uh, G, E, so it's, yep, yeah, sorry, Jess, that is completely incorrect. I'm sorry. Um, Maritime's got it. Yep, yeah, Maritime. <laughs> <coughs> Maritime's got the first one, so that's half a point. Jess, like, hang on. Jess, did you actually? Oh, Jess, you just got it right there, but you were a little bit too late. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jess. I'm afraid you don't get a point for that. I'm really sorry. But Maritime's got it, got one of them right. So Maritime, you get a half a point for that. But I think... <laughs> Okay, I definitely think that was a very sneaky one. So, DK, I, I think you got it really, really sneakily. Okay, let's do the final scores on the doors. But if it's a tiebreaker, we're going to have to do a tiebreak question. Uh, we literally talked about that one on Discord. Ah, did you have a discussion on that on Discord? Was it today or was it recently? 
I, I definitely think them um, because I've been so far behind on Discord because I know it was very active tonight and I'm so far behind on it. Just today, ah, today, gotcha, gotcha. So someone's been so, so every few of us have been paying attention. Very good. So final schools on the doors. So yeah. So I wonder who's going to be. Will Maritime take the crown? Or is it going to be someone else again? I wonder who it could be. Oh, because if it's Maritime again, Maritime, I'm going to have to speak with Sam because I have to say to him, questions on the Britannic, do the questions on the Britannic for history, uh, for uh, historic travels. And that's probably there. Okay. Final scores on the doors. So Vera, don't worry, Barry, I haven't forgotten you. Oh, DK. So in last place, we have Barry with zero in one, two, three, four, five. In fifth place is Dan with one. In fourth place is Alex with five. In, in Oh, no, actually third place, Alex is five. In joint second place is Jess and Plo with seven points but maritai takes the crown in first place with 11.5 points oh that's a big jump there maritime that's the biggest number i've i think i we've ever had from you that is ah oh, that is absolutely amazing maritime that you should be proud of that you should definitely be proud of that <laughs> I definitely think a lot of people are going to have words with Maritime about that but don't worry there's going to be another chance next week but we'll make sure we'll have more Britannic related questions so I will probably have a chat with DK to see if there's any more Britannic related questions because we will probably do some loads of this for Britannic months but yeah definitely definitely do that but yes <laughs> but yeah we'll definitely uh, do that and then we'll we'll just uh, see something out and then we'll just see how we go but anyway i'm gonna probably end the live stream here because we are past what the hour mark um i'll do a little bit better brill dk thank you but uh, uh we should <laughs> oh no we're not banning the q a alex it's gonna stay <laughs> but anyway so we will have another one next week and we will try to get new Britannic questions, but we are at uh, nearly the hour and a half mark. So unfortunately, as much as I would like to stay on a little bit longer, I will call it a night because um, I, I want my asthma is getting a little bit bad. So I'm going to have to try and sort it out. And then also I, I've got like little bits of bobs to do. But before I go, before I go away, um, if you ever want to join the Discord group, so if you are new and if you want to join the History Inside a Nutshell Discord group, I will leave a link to it in the, the chat and I will also leave it in the description. <gasps> DK, you beat me to it. Right. OK, follow DK because DK knows what he's doing. But if you want to share and sign a petition for the slipway, because there is still time. And uh, I need to do like some updates. So if you ever want to do the, um, if you want to shine or sign or share the petition, then the petition link for the Britannic will be in um, the chat. And I will leave it in the description box down below as well. Jess says, I hope more news up for the slip by the Britannic. Don't worry, Jess. Hopefully there'll be more, more news. I'm going to be doing my best. I can't guarantee it, but I will do my best. And I'll do everything I can. But like I said before, it's all going to be in this journal. And if there are any updates, good or, but mainly good, I will let you know in advance. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend, guys. And I will, hopefully I will be back next Friday at the scheduled time. But if not, I will do something to make up for it. But until then, until I let you know in advance, I hope to see you on Friday and I'm looking forward to sharing the video on Monday. So keep an eye on that, especially with you, Jake. And yeah, definitely, definitely do that. So until then, take care, guys, and have a good night. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye.